there. Hey, it's not true. Not true at all. Because there are programs that IELTS and other English tests are not required. You need to have a big amount of money in the bank. Great news! Not all the time. Because there are programs that proof of funds are not mandatory to process your application. It is expensive. False. We have options, and part of it is planning and goal setting. There is an age limit for a study permit. There is definitely no discrimination when it comes to learning new skills or studying a new course. The process is difficult. Not really, because the Visa Center is there for you every step of the way. How much is the cost of my application? The best thing for us to do is to ask the TVC consultants, wherein they will give us the comprehensive pricing scheme depending on the country that what you would like to apply for, the program that you're eligible to take, and the type of visa that you prefer. Here are some of the amazing benefits of becoming an international student in Canada. Apart from having an internationally recognized qualification, you can work part-time during your study and full-time during semester breaks. Your partner can work unlimited hours as a holder of permanent work permit during your study. Apply for postgraduate work permit after your study and stay in Canada with your family. You may include kids in your application and they can study for free in public schools. As an international student, you gain extra points for your permanent residence application. You and your partner may qualify for permanent residence after only one year of full-time work experience. Enjoy the fantastic climate and quality of life in Canada. Know if you are qualified today. The Visa Center. Shaping a better future. Here are the basic benefits of becoming a permanent resident in Canada. As a permanent resident, you get to work, study, or do business in Canada. Get access to their universal health care. You get the benefit of free education for children up to 18 years old and a highly subsidized secondary education. They also have the Canadian Child Tax Benefit where you get support from the government for raising your children. Unemployment insurance of up to 65%. Social security and age pension for your retirement. As a permanent resident, you also get to sponsor your family as a temporary or permanent resident. And of course, you have the luxury of traveling to and from Canada from the date that your visa has been granted. Experience the beauty of Canada as a permanent resident. And after accumulating years of living in Canada, you can apply for citizenship and hold a Canadian passport. Well, we all know that the Canadian passport is one of the most powerful passports in the world. Be our next successful client. The Visa Center. Shaping a better future. Okay, so hello guys. Good evening to everyone and welcome again to another episode of the Visa Center Q&A with Fun Game. I'm Zuni Sorsano and for tonight, our focus guys is Canada. Yeah, so later on, we will be joined by our special guest as we mentioned on our Facebook page ayan, and also to all of our social media pages. So we will be... Uh, Joined later on by one of our school partner, all the way from Alberta, Canada. So we understand, no, that there are so many Filipinos in Alberta. Lalo na ako personally have some couple of classmates and uh, actually friends na nasa Alberta na ngayon. So those who are watching right now, if you are planning to, let's say, going to to Canada, so either under let's say student visa visa pathway, or if you wanted to become a permanent resident later on, ayan, Tutok po kayo dito sa ating Facebook Live kasi nga later on din makakasama natin or maya maya lang pala makakasama natin ang isa sa magaling nating uh, education and immigration consultant from the Visa Center para mas mabigyan po namin kayo ng uh, kasagutan sa lahat ng mga questions na meron kayo kasi ginagawa natin ang ating Facebook Live is to give you guys a chance to clarify 
to ask questions. Maybe you have something in your mind na hindi kayo sigurado and that's holding you back. Kaya hindi nyo ma-start ang inyong application. So, malalaman natin through our partner school in Canada kung ano na nga ba yung mga ongoing situation nila doon. Uh, is it really... Uh, it is still right, the right time to start your applications. Ayan, kung kailan ba yung next intake, how much yung cost ng, living, ng cost of living doon sa Alberta, how much yung tuition fee na kakailanganin, ano yung mga, mga requirements na nire-require nila, especially for Filipinos, but also we also welcome non-Filipino who are watching right now to ask questions, okay? So before I introduce my co-host, my emergency co-host. <laughs> Yan, uh, batay muna natin some of our viewers tonight. So we have Eden May. And good evening. And of course, to Jeff Cabulas. To Jeff, what's this? Jeff Are. Ayan, good evening po sa inyong lahat. And to everyone who's uh, also watching right now. Guys, please do share our Facebook Live. Kasi po, uh, what, do this, what, do you call, what do you call this? Uh, maybe some of your friends are interested at least di ba makapanood sila at masabayan nila ang ating Facebook live. So, now I am going to invite my co-host just to say hello to everyone. Yan para po mabati niya muna kayo before we proceed with introducing our special guest for tonight. Uh, ha, tayo kasi ang nag uh, nagde-direct. <laughs> and I welcome natin ang aking co-host ngayon. Walang iba kundi si Miss Yan. Hi Miss Yan, good evening. Nakamute ka, friend. Hello po. Hi, What? good evening to everyone. Thank you so much, Sir Juni, sa ating mm -hmm. live ngayon. <laughs> okay, so medyo matagal-tagal kita ulit na nakasama, no? Kasi nga, uh, due to the absence of Miss Justine Aguilar, so ito nga, meron tayong uh, papalit-palit tayo ng co-host ngayon. Pero ito muna yan, before we start, ayan, uh, update ka naman muna sa mga viewers natin. Ano ba, kasi especially those who are not yet following us on Facebook, uh, is there some good news na ba na gusto mong i-share sa mga viewers natin uh, so that we can announce? Uh, sa ngayon po, ang ating recent grant, ang gusto kong i- Um, mm -hmm. this, uh, ipakilala sa mga okay. viewers natin para kahit pa paano maganahan talaga sila manood ng live natin. So, nung September 3 lang po, meron tayong recent grant for student visa in Canada since student visa Canada yung topic natin ngayon. So, ayan, congratulations to one of our clients. Miss Rachel po, kakagrant lang September 3. So, yan po yung recent grant natin. Nice! Ayun. Okay, and of course, do we have ongoing promotion para at least they know already bago pa sila uh, uh, ma-entice, di ba, na mag-enroll at mag-take ng student visa pathway going to Canada? Kasi nga alam natin ito yung the easiest way to enter Canada talaga. Ayan, sa marami pong nagtatanong, may promo, promo po ba tayo di... Yeah. Hello? Sir Juni, nandyan ka, no? Yeah, Ayan, yeah, ang yeah, promo yeah. po natin this month, yeah. um, make big decisions this September that you will remember. So we can offer you 20% discount with free IELTS review and mm. materials pa. So may discount na, may I, free na rin yung IELTS review and materials natin. So malaking discount na rin okay. po ang may offer natin for this month. Kaya what... Uh, Uh, what are we waiting for? Better start na po. This is the best time to start. Mm -hmm. Okay, ayan na. So sa mga viewers natin, yan, Miss Yan, please stand by. I, I will call you at any time I need you to support me, lalo na uh, sa, sa permanent residency discussion later on. Kasi nga may mga comments na tayo from our viewers. Ayan, so there are some non-Filipinos watching already. Please guys, do stand by if you have question after after our presentation. Ayan, feel free po to write in our comment box. So we will be back with uh, one commercial and then we will introduce na our special guest for tonight. So see you later, uh, Miss Yan. And sino ang i-share natin dito? Of course, we have to share this successful uh, application na mag-asawa na to. Let's do it. Good news dito ngayon sa The Visa Center at ayan na ang kanilang mga visa. And so saan po tayo na-approve? Uh, okay. po. Mm -hmm. Okay. So short ano lang po story, uh, paano niyo po nahanap yung uh, The Visa Center at bakit dito kayo nag nagtiwala na magpa-process ng inyong visa? Through Facebook, sir, nakita ko din, nag-message ako. 
pinakausap ko nung si Sir Lawrence. Tapos yung message, kung tawag yung tanong pa, since hindi na, na po, dire-direcho na ako. Ayan. So sir, uh, message naman po sa mga fo followers namin uh, na about sa Visa Center. Uh, kung ba? gusto niyo pong magpa-assess, going to Canada or Australia, punta lang po kayo sa Visa Center and we guarantee na legit po sila and tutulungan po nila kayo to attain your dreams. Proven and tested po. Hello, recommended. Legit na legit po. Alright, thank you po. Ito na po ang aming visa. Hello, finally. Hello. Okay, so we are back, guys. At yan ang isa sa mga successful na na approve applications natin and I believe yung couple na to I think nasa Canada na yata sila eh. let's double check that later on with Miss Yan kapag nakabalik siya sa ating screen so for our viewers eto na tutok na po kayo guys ha? kasi nga ang school partner that we're going to introduce today is actually the location na uh, sa school muna they are actually the biggest college in Alberta okay second is there are so many Filipino students sa school na ito Right, so because the advantage of that, if we have fellow Filipino already in the campus, so it's easy for us to let's say get to know the city more, de ba? We get more endorsement and recommendations, de ba? If you are looking for part-time jobs or if you wanted to save your money, sa let's say sa mga house rentals nyo, de ba? That that that's actually very one of the advantages talaga. And of course, sila sabi natin that this they are actually one of the most affordable. Uh, tawag nito, yung cost of living kasi nga nasa Alberta area. So if you have viewers na may mga kamag-anakan po dyan sa Alberta, please, please do share our Facebook Live kasi maintindihan natin later on kung ano yung advantages if you have an immediate family dyan. And malalaman din natin what if wala, ano yung mga options natin. So now, I would like to call our special guest to introduce uh, Southern Alberta Institute of Technology. So we have Mr. Ha Wang. Of course, we would like to call him Mr. Andy to join us on screen. Hello, sir. Good evening. Hello. Hello, Juni. Hello, everyone. Uh, my name is uh, Andy, and I'm the original recruiter in charge of Southeast Asia for SAID. And thank you so much, the Visa Center, for inviting me into this webinar. Okay. So, sir, uh, Andy, before we start with your presentation, I'm sure most of our viewers are always waiting for this question. Uh, can you give us an update about your campus in Alberta? Uh, let's say, is there an ongoing face-to-face uh, -face classes already? Or you also offer hybrid or you're offering also, uh, let's say, online courses, I don't know, online classes, especially those who would like to start their uh, classes, but unfortunately, they're not yet allowed to enter in Canada. Mm. That's very good questions. So uh, recently, I mean, uh, we just uh, recently uh, welcomed a lot of international students coming to, uh, say, campus to study uh, in the fall. 2021. So uh, I have to say that most of our program at the campus, we try to offer in a hybrid mode. But uh, I mean, a lot of students, especially from Philippines, uh, got visa, I think in July or August recently, and they already had planned to travel to Canada in September and to attend our four uh, to uh, have on campus experience. And I have to say that at the uh, at Kogari, Alberta right now. So the uh, COVID-19 situation is under control. And we uh, also have uh, health clinics that we can have students to get vaccination as well. So uh, basically everything is under control and we continue to maintain the uh, on-campus experience for students in uh, winter as well as, as summers next year. Okay, all right, thank you so much for the update. And now I have some couple of comments here. I just like to, to read this. So we have Arnel Austria. Uh, he said, I have Nigerian friend who wants to avail free assistant. Yes, we are open to non-Filipino. Sir Arnel, please, uh, our, our contact number actually is on our screen at the ticker below. You can actually share that to your friend, to your Nigerian friend. And of course, Miss Eden is saying, hello po, on process na ang aking AIPP, pero plan ko mag-student visa. If mag-switch, ako this month, maabil ko ba yung promo? Miss Eden, if you already have your existing application, 
hindi na po applicable ang ating promo kasi existing applicant na po kayo. So, but you are actually um, uh, allowed to switch from EIPP program to student visa. Ayan. And of course, another question from Michelle, what are the courses offered? Okay, stand by for that. And yeah, free assessment. Yes, sir, or no, we'll give me that. Okay, so now, Sir Andy, Okay, yeah. you may uh, share your screen. I think all of our viewers now are excited to get to know more about uh, Southern Alberta Institute of Technology. Yeah, definitely. So I will share my screen now. And uh, please let me know if you could uh, see it or not. Okay, sure. Okay. I, okay. Uh, all right. It's, it's visible now. Okay. So it's good right now, right? It's um, good now. Okay, so I think I should uh, start my uh, presentations about SAFE and then definitely uh, I highly recommend that you can ask questions in the end. Uh, mm -hmm. So here is the information about SAFE. So uh, probably I think a lot of you uh, from Philippines have known about Canada and what are the benefits when starting here as well. So basically when you're starting in Canada, you will receive a very good uh, education quality. And of course, in terms of the tuition fee, it's kind of very reasonable courses. Uh, especially when you compare of starting in Australia, UK or US. And of course, uh, Canada is, is, uh, is very uh, stable and open uh, environment that they are welcoming a lot of international students uh, to study there, as well as there's a chance for you to uh, uh, do the immigrations uh, because um, a lot of people know about PGWP, right? So uh, you have more times to stay in Canada after graduations and you can find job and then you can apply for immigration later on. So I have to say that here's the uh, Canada map and maybe a lot of you know about uh, a province like uh, Ontario, which has Toronto, or yeah. uh, British Columbia, which has Vancouver, but not much of you know about Alberta. Uh, which we had Kogari cities. So I have to say that Alberta province is, is located in the western part of Canada. And I have to say Kogari is the biggest cities in the in, in this province and also is the fourth largest cities um, in Canada. So uh, how big it is and is this an urban city or not? So I would like to invite you to watch a short videos about Kogari city. Let me take you on a quick tour of Calgary. First thing you'll notice, the skyline. With the mountains in the background, it's good. You'll probably take a picture. As you move towards the inner city, you'll feel its culture, the varying neighborhoods. You'll see art. Something will jump out at you. Oh, I should check that out, you might say to yourself. Welcome to Calgary. The place is bustling. Yeah, see, most people are surprised when they get here. They expect something a little more, uh, rustic. Anyway, settle in. You've got a million different things to do, people to meet, places to see. Start with a little food, maybe. Check out the culinary scene. A lot of options. Some of the best restaurants in the country are here. Feel like partying? More of like a dive bar type? Or do you want to hit the club? We could do a beer hall or billiards, live music. Whatever you want, we got you. There's major events year-round. Pro sports, live music. Major acts come through here constantly. There's something going on every night. If you're a morning person, maybe get up early and take in some of the great outdoors. The city's covered in pathways. The longest paved urban pathway system on the continent, in fact. It's over a thousand kilometers, around 620 miles if you don't speak metric. So go for a ride, hit up a park, go fishing right downtown if that's more your thing. The inner city's got beautiful outdoor spots and then there's like the outdoors outdoors. Head west about an hour and you'll find yourself right here. Yeah, remember to breathe. See, Calgary's got the unique pleasure of being a major metropolitan city while also being a stunning outdoor destination. All the arts, culture, events, dining, and nightlife surrounded in the most beautiful, most fun mountain and park areas that ever graced your eyes. And look, I don't know exactly what you're looking for or what your idea of a good time is, but what I do know is that you will find it right here in Calgary. Try us. Be part of the energy. Okay, so that is a very short video about Kagari cities. And I have to say that Alberta province is, is a truly a good place for international students and especially for Filipinos coming to study and, and work here as well. So basically for Alberta, uh, when you study there, especially as said, there are so many opportunities for you to work during study as well as after graduations. 
So basically, when you are starting a site, you have a chance to work on or off campus. So you can uh, find a part-time job and work for 20 hours during the semester time, and you can work full-time with 40 hours in the semester break. And of course, for Alberta, there are so many, how to say, programs for for uh, per, for people to immigrate here. And uh, you may already heard about Alberta Immigrants Nominee Programs. Uh, we have so many streams, but uh, one of them that I have noticed is about Alberta Opportunity Stream. That is a very good, um, how to say, policy for international graduate students. So for example, if you are graduate with a college diploma or bachelor degree in Alberta, and you could find a full-time jobs with, um, uh, how to say, with a, of course, with an acceptable employers here in, in Alberta, and, you, and, and that job offer should be relevant to the major or the programs that you graduate before in Alberta, mm -hmm. and you work at least six months of working experience after graduation, so you have the uh, you will meet the requirement to apply for the citizenship in in this uh, policy. So that is a very good way to to do, and also the other things that you should consider about Alberta is about cost of living. So I have to say that the normal cost of living here in Alberta, when you are um, thinking about groceries or room and board, for example, so the total cost of living in Alberta is around 800 Canadian dollars per month. But if you uh, live in uh, BC or Ontario, for example, in Toronto or Vancouver, so you may have to spend at least 1,000 to, um, one, to 1,200 Canadian dollars per month for cost of living. And one special thing about Alberta is, is about no province or sales taxes. So I will uh, talk to you about that later on. And when you study in Alberta, you will receive free universal healthcare, which means that even if you are an international student here, you don't have to pay for the uh, healthcare insurance. You will wow. receive it, yeah, the same like the resident here in Alberta. So you totally can save around 1,000 to 1,500 of the insurance fees compared when you start in Ontario or BC. That is the good way that you should take advantage. And now I want to explain clearly about the point, no province or sales tax, what this means. So whenever you buy goods or service in, in Canada, you definitely have to pay tax for that. So if you live in Alberta, in this table, in Alberta, there will be no province or sales tax. So it means that you only pay for the federal sale taxes, which is only 5% in total. But if you study in BC or in Ontario, you will have to pay 12 to 13% of taxes. So I will give you an example. So if you go to a restaurant and you uh, buy a dishes that cost you $10, so in total, when you have to pay for that bill, include tax, you only pay for 10.5 Canadian dollars. But if you go to Ontario or BC, the total bill that you have to pay is 11.2 or 11.3. So you can definitely see the difference here. And of course, if you buy so many goods or services at the same time, so you can save a lot of money if you, uh, I mean, study and work in Alberta. So that is the reason why students love it here. And also, of course, you can save a lot of money, but how about earning? You can earn a lot of money as well. So in this table, this is the minimum wage by province. So mm -hmm. uh, basically, if you have a part-time job in Alberta, so you will be paid a minimum of 15 Canadian dollars per hour. So this one is pretty high if you compare with other provinces. So I have to say that you can earn a lot, how to say, you can earn a sum of money uh, during your study here as well as you can save a lot of money because in Alberta there will be low taxes. So mm -hmm. that is the point that you should uh, consider about study and, and, and work in Alberta. And I have to say that Kogari, we are of course the biggest cities in the province. Uh, currently we have uh, over 1.5 million people living in Kogari right now. And I have to say that from the video that I have shown you, this is an urban cities. 
So you can definitely don't see any kind of difference uh, between Kogari with Toronto or Vancouver. And of course, for Kogaris, uh, we try to, as this is a growing cities with very good economic development. So uh, in the past, so normally people when think about Kogari is only focused on oil or gas industry or mining industry but now they try to diverse the economy employment into many fields like finance economy or even to it uh, health mm -hmm. hospitality as well so there will be uh, a lot of jobs here and i have to tell you that kogari is the second highest number of corporate head office in canada so just only behind toronto the reason for that because the tax in, in Kogari is very low when you compare with other provinces. So that's why a lot of big companies in Canada, they try to put the head office here to take advantages of the taxes, as well as the uh, earning of people living there is pretty high. So they have more money to, uh, how to say, to spend on, on good or services. So that win brings a lot of how to say, uh, revenues for companies here. So basically, you will live in a big cities. And of course, we have very good uh, public transportation in Kogari as well. And one more thing I want to tell you is, of course, the uh, beside with the high GDP as well of people living there, uh, the population there, I mean, a majority is our local Canadians. So instead of starting maybe in Toronto or Vancouver when you will meet uh, I mean, so many international. Uh, so here you have a chances to experience with local culture and you can make friends with a lot of local Canadians here as well. So that is the point that I want to make on. And of course, uh, with Kogaris, we have so many restaurants, entertainment activities, as well as events for people live there to experience uh, a truly uh, Canadian culture. So for Seth, I, I'm proud to say that we are kind of very oldest and one of the largest uh, colleges in, 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 in Calgary, Alberta. So we was founded in 1916 and we are kind of very first public fund institute of technology in, in Canada. So currently I have to say that uh, we, are have, we are having nearly 16,000 full-time students. And uh, I have to say that for each year we have over 100 a Filipino student coming to study at SAFE. And um, yeah, and, and, and one more thing I, I forget to, to tell you is that in Kogari right now, uh, I have read a report that we have nearly 40,000 Filipi Philippines permanent residents living in Kogari right now. So basically Philippines uh, communities are growing very strong here in, in mm -hmm. Kogari, Alberta. And uh, what, what we are trying to do in terms of providing education for, for students here is about career oriented, which means that you will learn by do, doing. You will learn hands-on uh, experience as well as during your study at SAFE. You have a lot of chances to do projects, to do uh, research as well as you have a chances to do co-op or uh, work placement with potential employers that we will try to invite and introduce you to them as well. And once again, I have to tell you that um, study uh, in, in, in a safe, you ha always have chances to uh, uh, apply and, and got PGWP, and it should be a good immigration pathway for you to uh, stay permanent in, in Canada later on. And our graduation employment rate is right now is 91%. And here are some pictures about SAID. And I have to tell you that we located in Kugari and we are very close to the downtown. So from this um, map, you can, I, I could tell you that uh, we have a, a, a train station located near the school already. And it takes you only 10 minutes to travel from the school to the downtown. So it, it's quite easy for you to get around between school and, and city to do shopping or to, uh, five part-time job and things like that is quite convenient. And for international students, of course, uh, we try to support them with a lot of uh, services in terms of academic, as well as uh, advising for study permit extensions or about PGWP as well. And currently, our tuition fee is around 18,000 to 22,000 Canadian dollars per, per year. So it's kind of a variety. So uh, for example, if you study a college diploma two years, 
uh, it could cost you 20,000. 20, but if you study a bachelor degree for four years, so it could cost you 22,000 Canadian dollars per year. And um, I have to say that for SAFE, we uh, have a very good facilities. We have state of our facilities for you to do learning. This is not to, your facility in your school? Yeah, that's right. This is oh, one of the building. Yeah, one of them. Because we are so we have a very good for cities here. So I mean, the school is quite huge, and it could uh, I think it takes you at least uh, forty five minutes to go around the school if you have a chance to visit uh, physically, and um, it's just one of the building that we have. And I have to say that we have also have small classes. So normally the class size is only twenty students per class okay. so you have a chance to uh talk a lot with the uh, faculties as well as do group work and we have a very good connection of uh, over eleven thousand industry partners that could help you to find uh to do internship or uh, to uh have uh how to say graduation mm -hmm. job after that and mm -hmm. uh, of course uh we have in total of uh, a lot of school here with a lot of fields that we meet the uh, economic de demand from the society. But uh, from the next slide, I will try to go through some key programs that we have seen a lot of Filipino students coming to study. So basically, we have uh, currently, as I say, we have some programs that have bachelor degree, which is four Dr. years Amy, program. Yeah, be before we proceed with the courses, uh, I, I have some couple of questions here already for some of our viewers. Uh, they are asking, let's say, how to apply, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So to everyone who are asking that, uh, I am sharing again our contact details of the Visa Center here in our screen. Please do save that because we are offering free uh, assessment and consultation, right? So you don't have to pay for the consultation. So please do save that. And also, uh, uh, I have here some questions. Let's say um, here another one uh, from Michelle is uh, site government public funded school DLI and covers PGWP. I think this is one of the most important for Filipinos because yes, they are they wanted to enroll in in Canada, but afterwards, of course, they wanted to enjoy the benefits of becoming a permanent residency there. So, can you uh, say something about this, sir, Indy? Yes, uh, so we are definitely government public fund uh, a post secondary uh, institution here in Canada and in, and in Alberta provinces. And I have to say that all the programs that we have for bachelor degree, uh, college diploma, or college certificate are eligible for students to uh, get PGWP after graduation. So if you study for one year certificate, you can apply for one year. PGWP, but if you study a college diploma, so you can get a maximum up to three years. Yeah. Wow. Okay. So this next question connects to that um, question earlier. Of course, they're asking about the cost, and you mentioned earlier that uh, the tuition fee is actually will start from eighteen thousand. But the question is to so everyone who's watching right now of course they need to prepare something first right so how much is the initial payment that you asked uh so that they can you know continue processes uh, process their visa um, uh, do you require them to pay for their one year tuition or just let's say a couple of semester or, mm. or, or yeah yeah so i have to say that it uh, really depends on uh, the, the type of visa that you have applying so basically i think you have heard about sds of course sds visa is uh, applicable for Philippines market. So for SDS, of course, you have to pay upfront of one year tuition fee. But uh, for uh, the normal stream, so if you apply to SAFE, you only have to pay uh, the application fee only, which is a uh, 150. And then if you get an LA, I mean, an offer letter from SAFE, you only have to pay a tuition deposit, which is a uh, 1750 Canadian dollars only to uh, apply for visa later on okay all right so that's good news guys i mean to everyone you have to rejoice you know because that's really affordable so for you to understand more about that again I'm, I'm repeating it please do save our contact details so that we can help you out all right so now sir indy you may continue now because everybody are waiting about what are the courses uh that you are offering okay with, uh, right yeah yeah, so currently I have to say that we have uh, over 50 programs for international students 
And, but um, in this presentation, I will try to select key programs for each mm -hmm. of the school department that we have. So first school of business, I have to say that we have so many international students applying to this school. And uh, we have, uh, how to say, some programs that attract a lot of Filipinos. First, we have diploma or business administrations. So as you can see on, uh, on my slide, for that diploma, you can choose one or six majors that we have. So we have supply chain, we have marketing, we have management, accounting, finance, and HR. So for you to choose a major. So uh, I have to say that when you study uh, in our business school, basically you will learn not only theories, but also you have chances to do uh, about business case as well as to do consulting projects and, and practicums. And it gives you a lot of uh, chances to uh, uh, get working experience as well. And of course, we also have the bachelor degree of business administration as well. So we are so proud that uh, with the CEO World Magazine ranking, we are kind of one of three only Canadian school on, on this uh, ranking list. And we are a very good school and just behind Uni of Toronto. And I have to say that we are also kind of the biggest business school here in Alberta as well. So um, for the business, uh, I have to say that uh, we have seen the uh, how, uh, the graduation employment rate from the school of business currently is 90%. And with the starting median salary is 15,000 Canadian dollars per year. So that was a very good uh, start, I have to say, about school of business. Yeah, for school of hospitality and tourism, uh, we have some uh, attractive programs like Diploma of Hospitality and mm -hmm. Tourism, as well as if you want to do more about cooking, we have baking and pastry art, or we have culinary art as well. So for the Diploma of Business, uh, I mean, uh, sorry, Diploma of Hospitality and Tourism, we also have six major for you to choose one. So um, you have so many things to learn. And of course, we have uh, good facilities inside the school. So basically, we have student-run uh, organizations in terms of uh, hotel and restaurant here. So you can um, have practice in our school uh, hotel restaurant first, and then you can uh, have a chance to be placement on other restaurant, hotel, or other facilities in, in the Kogari cities later on to do the, the work placement. And we would have you for that. And I have to tell you that Kogari is the biggest city in Alberta. So actually, there are so many restaurant, entertainment activities, as well as uh, tourist um, sites here for uh, other for, for tourism. So that's why they will bring, brings a lot of jobs here in terms of, of this field. And we have seen that in the School of Hospitality and Tourism, the graduation employment rate is 96% with the starting uh, salary is 45,000 Canadian dollars per year. So it should be a good start for you as well. Mm -hmm. uh, School of Energy, uh, we have some programs uh, about chemical, about electronic, uh, electrical for you to choose as well. And uh, because Kogari is very well known for a long traditions of oil and gas and mining industry. And recently there is a lot of projects about bioenergy or uh, biotechnology as well. So actually when you start in this program, you will get access to our state of art facilities as well as you have a chance to do apply research with um, employers like BP or Shells. Those are very, uh, big companies in, in, in the field of, of energies in, uh, in, in Kogari as well. And uh, for School of Constructions, uh, uh, we have some programs about civil or architectures that you can work with employers like MicroStation, 3M Canada, or DuPont as well. And um, of course, you will get uh, a lot of support from us in terms of the facilities, a school to do practice first before making an apply research for employers. So uh, um, just, uh, just a, a question, uh, Sir Andy, because I believe most of our viewers now are like looking at the courses, ah, these are my background, these are my, you know, uh, uh, what do this that is connect to my education and all. So uh, my, my question is, um, let's say for those who are watching right now, uh, 
do let's say do they have to choose a course that is related to let's say to their education background or to their job experience background or is there a way that let's say yeah maybe that's not my educational background that's not even my experience my job experience but can i choose this for example something like that mm. is, is is that possible so yeah so basically for i mean for a bachelor degree or college diploma as said we only require students to uh, have a high school documents only that is the minimum requirement so basically even if you have a post-secondary education uh, maybe a college diploma or bachelor degree before in in another field uh, it's it's still uh, feel free i mean we are still open uh, there will be no age limit as well as there will be no limit in terms of you can apply to study in a program that is different from your previous background. So the only things that you have to um, take note is that when you apply for visa, so definitely you will need some kind of support or recommendation from the visa center about how to write a good uh, study plan to uh, mm -hmm. make reasonable, um, um, how to say, uh, be more reasonable with the IRCC officer when they are assessing your visa documents. Yeah, that's correct. So to, to everyone who's watching right now, if you guys think that uh, maybe I, I don't fit for that course and all, that's the expertise of the visa center. So again, I'm repeating you guys, please do save our contact details. I'm going to share again to our screen. Uh, we are offering free assessment and consultation. All right, let's proceed, Sir Andy. Okay, thank you so much. So the next one I want to tell you is about School of Health. Uh, of course, in this program, we don't have much uh, option for international students, but still Filipino students, you can choose uh, one or three programs here we have about opticians diploma programs, or about health formation management diploma, or dental assisting. Those programs, we have clinics inside of the school for you to practice first, and then you will get uh, work placement later on. And of course, in Kogari, currently I have known that we have eight hospitals and we will have also have many health labs and diagnose uh, center as well for you to uh, find jobs. And definitely health is an important factor in society, especially during COVID-19 situation right now. So there will be a lot of jobs. And we have seen that the uh, graduation employment rate for this program is 94% with the starting salary is around 50,000 Canadian dollars per year. Uh, for School of Information and uh, Communication Technology, uh, we have seen students interested in information technology here. And if you have more concern or interest about software, you can uh, choose software development as the major. But if you want to learn more about hardware, for example, you can choose computer system as well. And if you like to study about cybersecurity, we have information system security as well for you. And students, when they study in this program, as said, they have a chance to do projects with companies like Oracle, Amazon Web Service, Microsoft as well, to uh, be more knowledgeable in this field. And in terms of communication and media, if you like something more fascinated, or if you want to do things about creative, uh, we have, of course, uh, media productions and we have also about journalism about film video productions and other programs as well for you to study and uh, somehow about school of transportations uh, we will only focus about um, automotive management I mean or you can do about aircraft maintenance as well so basically as said we have our own garage with nearly hundred of automobiles for students to practice and to do about uh, maintenance um, and these are in cooperation with companies like Ford or Jero Moto as well. Or even though at Kogari International Airport, say, have physical class inside the inside the Kogari Inter International Airport to do practice about Ooh. aircraft maintenance as well. So um, you can do practice with this plane, but it, which was sponsored by WestJet, which was also a very notable uh, company about airline here in Canada as well. So we try to give you a lot of uh, chances to practice. And I have to say that currently at SAFE, uh, we do have uh, English Language Foundation program. But I mean, this program is only um, suitable for students that do not meet 
our language requirement. So basically for programs like college diploma, we will need IL 6.0 with no band below six or bachelor degree with a 6.5 with no band below six. But for Filipino student, I have to tell you, we are totally with IELTS for Filipino student. If you can demonstrate in your high school documents or in your post-secondary education that the medium of instruction is in English, so we can wave IELTS for you. Yeah, so there's no need to worry right. about IELTS or take this course. Yeah. So uh, you should take note on that. And of course, besides the study, we also have very good facility in terms of uh, gym, soccer fields for you, for students to improve their physical health, as well as we have student club for students to uh, meet with local Canadians and get in touch with uh, community activities as well. And I have to say that we have Korea Center, which is very important because uh, Filipino students can take advantage on that. For example, if you in your final semester, you want to get support about how to write a good CV or resume, or if you want to do mock interviews, or you want to attend career fairs uh, at school. So we totally have you with that to get you be uh, more knowledgeable as well as to keep you in touch with potential employers uh, at Kugari but, uh, as well. Me, are you also saying that uh, this is also an opportunity for your student to get a part-time job uh, at your school? Yeah, um, of course for part-time jobs, so uh, we have like on-campus and off-campus jobs. So for on-campus mm -hmm. job, normally you can work in the student service center or you can work in a library to, uh, or you can work in the student club to do other work related to school. But I mean, um, I have seen that many students here, they will find job, I mean, uh, off campus because uh, we are very close to the downtown of Kogari and Kogari is a big city. So there will be many restaurants, supermarket, convenience store or shops for students to find job there. So you definitely can have a lot of chances here as well. And um, one thing I want to mention here is about health and dental insurance. So you may put me a question that, okay, I just told you before that you will receive free universal health care in Alberta, but why do you have to pay this extra money in your tuition fee? The reason for that is because the, uh, the Alberta provincial health care is not cover for students in terms of oral health or opticians, which uh, is eyes, yeah, eyes health, eyes wear health. Yeah. yeah, so that's why you have to pay extra money to cover something about uh, eyes problem or your oral health. So this is just a very small money and it was included in tuition fee already for you. So I want to make it clear like that, yeah. And of course, if you study, you will have to pay for your book and supplies. It really depends on each program, but it could cost you 1,000 to 1,500 per year. Yeah, and if you study a safe and you worry about living, you don't have to go anywhere. So let's say we have two big buildings uh, inside the school. So uh, we, we can definitely have you to stay in our safe resident and they are all fully furnished with uh, internet and with other good facilities as well for you. So you don't have to go anywhere. Uh, we have also many type of rooms for you. If you want to be more independent, you want to live in a single bedroom apartment, we have that option. It could cost you 5,000 Canadian dollars per semester. And if you want to share, uh, I mean, if you live in a two-bedroom uh, apartment or four-bedroom, the cost will be lower. It could be 3000 for four-bedroom apartment, or it could be 4000 for two-bedroom apartments per semester. Mm -hmm. So it's quite reasonable. And of course, we have scholarship and grants. Uh, I have to tell you that we will try to uh, have plan about having a specific regional ancient scholarship. Uh, and, and in the future, and I will definitely keep you in touch with that. But currently we still have general scholarship for students to apply. So basically in order to apply for scholarship as safe, you need to get, uh, a, you need to get an accepted offer from safe first, and you have to pay tuition deposit 
then you can apply scholarship online on say system so basically you will need to fill in an application uh, form for scholarship and we will you will have to write a motivation letter as well and say we uh, we will choose candidate based on your uh, gpa before it could be your high school or your post-secondary and also based on your motivation letter how uh, much of community involvement that you have so far and we can try to give you a value uh, it could be about 1000 2000 or 5000 Canadian dollars uh, per value uh, so there are so many type of scholarship you can try to see it on our website and you can apply multiple uh, scholarship programs at the same time and uh, but remember that if you were accepted for scholarship the scholarship value will be applied on your second semester not for your first semester yeah. so take note on that yeah yeah and here's an example of uh, one of filipino students that we have so far uh we have that received like scholarship from safe um i have to say that uh for safe uh we currently have uh, three intakes which is september january and may and uh, we normally have uh open our application date uh it like one years before the uh before the starting date of the programs. So you should try to apply as soon as possible because say we receive a huge inquiry of applications every month. So uh, there's so many programs that could be full as soon as possible and you could be on the wait list. So try to apply as soon as possible because we do offer early conditional acceptance for you. And uh, one thing I want to um, uh, remark again is about our application fee currently is uh, 150 Canadian dollars and of course we will try to have a specific campaign of waiving this in the future uh, I will uh, definitely keep keep you in touch with that uh, in the future and for tuition deposit we require is only 1750 to get LA and then you can apply for visa and one more thing remember even our IELTS requirement for the admission is 6.0 but we do with IELTS for Filipino sure. students. Yeah. So remember on that. And yeah, so I think that's all from my presentations. And I would like to conclude my, uh, my, my slide with a short videos about student testimonial. I say. I'm originally from Vietnam. When I first came to see, the first thing came to my mind is it's very, very huge. It actually made me so nervous. I moved from Venezuela. I was so shy. I wouldn't talk to people. You have to leave something you know so well, leave family behind. I was nervous. You're going to the unknown. Decided to contact the residents. I knew I would be in touch with the students and also be on campus. People were really, really welcoming. They helped me a lot in getting to know better about C and about the culture and life in here. When the day arrived for my trip to come here, I knew that everything was set up properly. I really liked to see that everything wasn't as complicated as it seemed to be. I offer a lot of places to study spend most of the time in the library and then I can just grab food at Danny's. It's very convenient. You don't have to take transit to go to class. That's for me that's like the deal breaker. <laughs> you can find food anywhere, anytime that's safe. So Subway, sushi, Thai food, a bar for students can relax with friends. Whenever I feel that I'm overwhelmed, I always try to take some time off, go to the bowling line, go play ping pong. We do have the gym on, on campus as well, but it's it's nice to have the options here on the student building. It makes you actually think, you know, I don't really have an excuse to not do those things because they're all here. I like that. I can go and do my laundry and then I can just wait for it to be done by relaxing in the gaming room. Calgary, it feels like it's a big city, but at the same time, it feels like a small town. City residents, it feels like it's at the heart of the city. It's, it's amazing. You can go to the mountains just one hour away. I love hiking. That was something I I learned here. I feel that I have a sense of family. I'd say my coworkers has always been there for me. They care about everything related to you. It's been so 
past uh, two years now and it feels like I'm so well adapted now trying to kind of remember the first day I arrived here. Say is kind of like the family to me. I know everything in here. Say the residents felt it was the best experience I could have had in a student residence. Okay, so I think that's all for my uh, presentations and I'm open for uh, any discussions or Q&A in the end of this webinar. Thank you. Okay, actually we have uh, some couple of questions here already. So I'm going to, uh, just for a while, I'm just going to choose this and all right. Uh, we have here from Miss Michelle. Okay, the question is, do you credit subject taken in the Philippines? Because I think she's saying that because his son already took, uh, my son would want to pursue his IT studies in one of your programs under the same course. So is that uh, possible in your school, let's say, if they wanted to like transfer to Canada, if you, they are already like enrolled uh, for an IT course? Mm. Yeah, I, very good question. So from my understanding, I think uh, you are asking about transfer credit. Uh, of course, uh, we, we do accept that here in, in a safe. And um, this should be doing, um, how to say, after you applying for to say. So you should apply for to say first. You should get accepted offer from say, and then you pay for tuition deposit. Then you can apply for transfer credit. So basically, it should be another step that you have to fill in in a different uh, form for transfer credit. Uh, also, of course, we have your uh, post-secondary uh, documents before, but you still have to uh, supplement towards the course syllabus. So basically, course syllabus is, is, is very important documents that were issued by your previous school. So it will tell you clearly about each courses, uh, what subject uh, or what objective that you have learned from each courses, uh, how many uh, how many uh, working hours that you need to put on that courses, and is this equivalent to Canada uh, education system? So we will need this document and then we will try to evaluate. But uh, take note that we only accepted, um, how to say, transfer credit if you have a previous study that is less than five years uh, of, um, of the time when you're applying to, uh, to save, as well oh, as, yeah. yeah, and as well as the maximum credit that you can transfer is 15% of the program as safe. So for example, as safe, you study like 20 subjects and the maximum courses that you can transfer is 10 only. Okay, yeah, we understand that. Okay, second mm -hmm. here is, uh, I think I have a question from uh, Ara Smith. Okay, because you mentioned earlier that, you know, um, you just need to pay 1750, which is 1,550 Canadian dollar for the mm -hmm. tuition fee. But how about, let's say they choose courses that are like two years course or more. Uh, is that the same value uh, amount that they're going to pay? Uh, I have to, yeah. So for the uh, general admission requirement, so you only have to pay uh, 1750 uh, for tuition deposit to apply for visa. But of course, um, I mean, uh, up, I mean, having a visa, it's just a, a first step. And before coming to, to study a safe, you have to pay full uh, semester by semester. So you win, uh, I mean, you win pay twice times per year because uh, each academic year, uh, say we will have two semester for you. So you will have to pay each semester, each semester as well. And it really depends on the program as I told you. Um, so basically if you have some kind of specific program that you have interest already, you can search the name of that program on say website and we will give you clear the whole tuition fee that you have to pay. So um, yeah, it's kind of variety. It could be 18,000 to 20,000 Canadian dollars per year, depends on the program. Mm. Okay, but uh, to our viewers, don't worry about that because you know during your assessment with the Visa Center, we can actually identify if how much, um, they say, do you need to prepare, okay? So again, mm -hmm. uh, we have here, I have one question from Veronica and she's saying, after I graduate, with my bachelor degree, for example, can I take a master's degree in Canada while having a work there and how much it's cost? Is that possible that they have to continue after 
let's say they finished any bachelor degree and they wanted to continue with master degree under your school uh, I have to say that um, unfortunately uh, we are a polytechnic uh, education so we don't have master degree uh, of course in the future we try to uh, we, we may open something which is called a postgraduate certificate uh, programs that could be suitable for students who already got a college diploma or bachelor degree in Philippines before to study. But currently, um, we, we, we don't have any option yet for postgrad, but I do hope that it will be changes next year. So currently, I have to say that if you got a bachelor degree and you truly want to study a safe, the only option is that you could study again college diploma it could be relevant to your previous bachelor degree or you can totally choose a different field as say and i do see a lot of students get visa uh as say even if you choose to study again college diploma as say but of course you will need to have a good hands-on uh recommendations from um, the 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 visa consultations company and i truly believe that the visa center should be a good way for you to start on that okay so for our late tuners yeah especially those who are like asking about uh courses available with uh southern alberta institute of technology don't worry guys they have a wide uh range actually of courses that most filipino are into you know uh these are most of filipinos interests especially when you mentioned earlier about uh hospitality um there are so many filipinos especially those who are working abroad already and they are into that field so here i have a question from 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 Rua louis healthcare course is vocational so can i proceed in canada i don't understand the question maybe just yeah. ask your you're offering the healthcare course that you're offering is under vocational right so it means yeah. that you can Take that. Is that correct? Yeah, yeah, that's right. So, uh, of course, uh, for in terms of the healthcare programs, um, there's not, uh, how to say, there's a limitations here in Canada because normally they wouldn't try to offer that to uh, permanent residents or local Canadians here as well. But, of course, as safe, uh, we do have few programs that uh, international students can choose to apply. So, as I mentioned in my presentations, we have about opticians, diploma, we have in hair information management, and we have dental assisting. Those programs are open for international students to study. And then after graduation, you will get enough skills and experience and knowledges to uh, do the ancient, I mean, the national uh, exam uh, test for this program in order to work on the field later on. And I have to say that at Kogari, as I told you before, there are so many hospitals mm -hmm. as well as other health uh, services company and center for you to find job. So definitely there should be a lot of opportunities here in Kogari. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, we received actually a couple of questions asking about the cost. I think in that case, guys, you need to undergo with assessment and consultation with the visa center so that they can uh, they can give you the right figure of the cost that you are asking because sometimes it varies depending on the course, depending on your, uh, let's say, experience, I don't know, based on your education because uh, uh, as according to Sir Andy earlier, there might be some, or there is some uh, uh, subjects that they can actually credit. And I have here another question. Um, where is that? I think I, I like the question. Okay, here, from Alma. Okay, can I take two years course without graduating four years course from the Philippines? So in short, even though, let's say they are a high school graduate in the Philippines, are they allowed to take a two years course in, 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 uh, in uh, Southern Alberta Institute of Technology? Okay, that is very good questions. So uh, I, have to, I have to say that uh, for Filipino student, if you apply to say, uh, as I mentioned before, you need to uh, be graduate from high school. That is the minimum requirement. But uh, remember that uh, we we need you to graduate from high school in Philippines with K twelve yeah. uh, system. Yeah, but just in case, if you are studying in the old system, which is K ten only, is which is definitely. Definitely. <laughs> yeah, that's right. So it's definitely uh, a right. compulsory that you need to supplement to us additional documents about your post-secondary 
So it could be a two years diploma in Philippines, but uh, we will really yes, need to make sure this should yeah. at least uh, a diploma category. At least they have yeah. they finished a year uh, during college. Mm -hmm. right? Yeah, that's right. We will need that uh, additional documents in order to assess your documents and be uh, accepted to say. That is mm -hmm. for the K-10 education system. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. So I think we, we almost covered everything. I mean, from no more IELTS for Filipino, and then uh, the what are the courses available, uh, how much do they need to, fee, uh, to pay, and uh, let's say, uh, what else? Uh, you also mentioned about free health insurance. So yeah. just talking about that, uh, Sir Andy, as an student or as, as an international student um, in in uh, site, what are the other benefits of an international student? Because for sure, people, our viewers, are after with that. Yeah, you mean the benefit to uh, to be? Yes. Uh, yeah, because yeah. we know that first is they will enjoy this free health insurance plus uh, they're allowed to work for 20 hours per week. But what else are the other benefits that they can actually enjoy if they become an international student visa? Yeah, besides of having a benefits like free universal health care or very uh, good, uh, how to say, reasonable living costs here as well. So uh, become a safe student is truly uh, give you, how to say, a, a good chances to be successful in the future in Canada because I have to say that say it is truly a, a very good school in Kogari, Alberta. I have to say that uh, we do a lot. Uh, we, we have read a lot of researches even for locals here. And a lot of locals, when they're thinking about colleges in Kogari, the, the, their first options is, is always about safe because we push students up front. So we try to give them hands-on learning. So it's very practical. So it means that after graduations, they are ready to work in the marketplace. And during the study here, you will get accepted to very good facility, modern uh, clinics, as well as you have chances to do uh, projects, you do practicum, you do work placement. And we have very good uh, graduation employment rate as well with, with a huge number of uh, employer connections. So you can truly, have a lot of support from students here as say and then you can uh, of course apply for pgwp and then it should be a good pathway for you to uh, get immigration later on okay so here uh, another question from harry Ko. you are a tech school so they have connection to different employers right so yeah because Earlier, I think you have like 91 or 94 percent uh, employment rate. So, are you yeah. saying that most of your courses that you offered in your school is that these are the in-demand uh, jobs uh, in in Calgary? Yeah, so that is very yeah. good. Yeah, very good questions. So, uh, in my presentations before, I have mentioned that we have uh, an over connections of 11,000 uh, business partner or, or employers. Uh, here in in Alberta, in Kogari, Alberta, and this uh, connection is very important because uh, they will uh, provide a lot of insights of the marketplaces to say, so we can know okay which knowledge that we should teach for students, uh, what subjects or uh, uh, what kind of practical things that we should give for students, so that when students graduate, they will be fully compatible with the requirement of the working places. So that's why we work very close with this partner in terms of uh, uh, elaborate our um, education uh, materials, as well as, as a chance, a more chance for students to do researches, to do work placement and co-op. So that's why we have so in so many few, uh, not only about business, but also in health, hospitality, energy as well, because those few are, all of them are, are so important for the society. I mean, for every uh, city as well here in Canada. So we work closely with them to get on that. And even for each school department that you study, uh, we will also have our own career fairs and industry night that we will invite potential employer inside and outside the city coming oh, to okay. the campus. So you then you can definitely bring your resume or CV directly to the school, yeah. have a face-to-face -face interview with them, and you definitely can have a chance to get internship or graduation job. Yeah. 
Mm -hmm. Okay, so Sir Andy, thank you so much because you know, uh, your information is really substantive and really uh, important for our audience. So maybe my last question is this before you say goodbye. Uh, of course, most of our viewers now are really interested because you have so many choices when it comes to choosing courses. And you mentioned about cost of living is affordable, the salary is high, and more. So when is the next intake? And second, why do they have to enroll now? Okay, very good questions. So currently, uh, we, uh, of course, we are still trying to uh, finalize our uh, intakes for uh, winter, which is January intake and, 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 and May intake of 2022. So basically, I have to tell you, uh, we have three main intakes, which is September. So for September 20, 2022, we will open our applications on 6th of October this year. So re remember that date because you can start applying as soon as possible and you can get a seat. Uh, for in-text line uh, winter, which is January, we normally open our applications on March next, uh, pre in the previous year. Or uh, even if you apply for May in-text, we will open application on June. So uh, these are good ways. So basically we have so many programs are full already for January and May in text of 2022. So you might think about applying to fall 2022 and rem remember the date, uh, 6 October to apply and you can get support from the visa center as well. All right, 6 of October. So to everyone who's watching right now, mm. um, I, I wanted to say that, you know, uh, they have to uh, take advantage of, let's say enrolling earlier because number one, of course, there are uh, there are limited number of students only per course. That's second. Uh, that's that's first. And then second is you know you have to take advantage of the pandemic season. That you know when it comes to approval of visa applications is actually um, good as of now because we are worried when the border is open. Of course, there are so many applicants, uh, student applications, and for sure they're going to limit you know, the number of approved student visa going inside Canada. So again, Sir Andy, thank you so much for your time joining us uh, with the Visa Center Q&A. And I hope to see you on the next episode so soon. Yeah, so, th thank you. Yeah, thank you so much, Juni, for inviting me to this uh, webinar. So the final words I just want to give to participants is that uh, starting abroad is, is a long journey. So it requires a lot of researches as well as uh, preparation step. So uh, in order to make it easy and more convenient, so I highly recommend that you could get advice and support from the visa center so that they, they can definitely help you about admission process as safe as well as how to prepare well for your visa applications and then you can land in Canada, study there, and then you can uh, prepare for your immigration pathway later on. So thanks, Johnny. All right. Yeah. All right. Thank you, Sir Andy. Have a nice evening to you. You too. Thank you. Take care, everyone. Bye bye. Bye bye. All right. So that's our special guest tonight, guys. Our